Michigan. Uh, Mary had a little lamb. This place was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Keep going. Famous use of that? Most famous use of that ever. I'm unsure. Beeswax. No. Fan fiction. It was beeswax. There's a very, very famous historical use of that particular poem involving nerd history. The first recording. Yeah. It was on I was never a history. Ah, that's what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was never a history I thought person. the first recording was a really crappy one of Claire de la Lune or whatever. Are you trying to say Claire de la Lune? Yeah. That might be the first musical recording. But the, first, the first Edison recording oh, was okay. Mary Had a Little Lamb. What's the first phone call? I need Get you. In. Get in here. Watson, come here, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what it's they wrote in the history books. What they actually said was probably very different than that, but yes. What? Watson, I need you? It's the, it's the first uh, phone sex. You. <laughs> yes. Turn the thing. There's a delay. Oh my god, yes, there is a little bit of a delay. It's not as bad as the GoPro. Oh god. It gets worse the longer it records. Yeah. Well, you've got a ring buffer. Alright, um. As long as it's close, it's fine. Just, like, be cognizant. Now nah, we're cool. It's a lot easier to turn good. the computer than to turn the camera. Yeah. Alright, I'm ready when you are. How does that look for you? I was looking at that into a light across the room. Is that a good image for you? I trust you. On the, Who am I supposed to be on the iPad? At? Yeah. They'll tell us. You'll look hey, you. Oh, you're wide. Okay. All right. All right. So we talk there. I have the wrong track. And don't look at here. All right. All right. Because it looks weird if we both stand here looking at the camera. Which, you know Make sure to open your eyes really big when you look at the camera. Stop giving shitty advice. I think I've been on TV twice now. Did you like? Sure. I'm not. <laughs> Fuck you. Did you wipe down? We hired giants. I don't know why. It's like a thing. Everybody who works here is like fucking six two or better. And the work never gets here. That I know. Like he's almost like eight feet tall and four hundred pounds. I got three inches on Tom Cruise, and people are giving me shit. Well, when he's five foot even. He's 5'7". And you're 5'1". Shut up! She's a girl. So? It works in my favor. Oh. Um, uh, I hate the world. Alright, are we- can we make a fucking video, please? <laughs> I hate my whole life. I'm wrong. Incidentally, we're good on audio, so... Well, yeah, really? that's fucking awesome. I feel great. Um, touch. You want to touch me? He's a barrier rolling. Ah! Yeah, just put the iPad on the tippy ladder next to the staircase. Where the fuck am I going to put it, Chris? I only have two arms. Give me the a iPad, soft then. chair right behind you, a box over here, and a table right in front of us. I have a music stand in D, but I can't go get it. You have a music stand for your iPad? No, I have it for dinosaurs, but... I don't have a shelf, so I put the dinosaurs on a music stand. Flat shelves. It's a cookie jar kangaroo. Thing. Do you want to move the ladder in case you kick it? No. Okay, okay. okay. That would be awesome. Perfect. You ready? Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. God, you fucked it up! Like five seconds in, the whole thing's ruined. Please don't yell like that. I say, hi, I'm Chris Bowden, and you say, and I rock a bullet. Okay. okay. You, you have gotta, to look okay. at me. Can I go look at her? Look! Look at the camera. Okay, That's about the only time we're going to start out here. here? It's and then we're going to go down there, then yeah, here, and then here. Yeah, it's literally the only time you have to look at the camera. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Rocco Volata. That's how you say it? That's how I say it. I've been saying it wrong for like two years. Hi there, guys. I'm... <laughs> I thought it was Volata. Mark. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Rocco Volata. Welcome to the Geek Group. This... Wait. Wait. Yes. Don't say anything until you'll know when. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden here today with... Who is the director of the Geek Group's Computer Information Technology Lab or something? Computer Information Technology General. He's the head computer nerd here at the Start lab. Start over. Why? Get this the is the name right. It's Volata. The name of his department. Nobody really knows the name of his department. Hi, Bob. You don't get the help. <laughs> you want to help? Can you say?
save this? Because we're five seconds in and train wrecked the whole damn thing. Hi, hi. You're used to it. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bodley. Wait, well, no. What the fuck? Um, what? Lay down. She's helping. No. We've had her help before. Remember that one Trevor video where she helps? On so the table. Much? Yeah. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden, and welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here today with Rocco Villada. Now, what do you do? You're director of IT or something? I am director of computer information technology here at the lab. Uh, I deal with uh, the computer shop and most of the IT in the building. Okay, so you're like a super nerd among the nerds. I am a jack of all trades and a master of a few, yes. Okay, cool. Today, we are beginning what will be a five-part video series on the overhaul of the Captain's Command console. It's my insanely large computer. And the idea in this is we want to show you guys the level of what you can do here as a member project. The Captain's Command Console, we call it the CCC, is my personal member project. It's just, I wanted to build a really big computer because I'm a nerd and I like that kind of thing. So, turns out a lot of you guys like that kind of thing, so this is like a five-part series of nerd porn. And we're just going to go through the entire process of building this massive computer so that you guys can get some ideas on what you can do to build your own private giant supercomputer because we're nerds and this is what we do. So, the first video is going to be the basic upgrades to this computer, which is one third of the towers. The CCC has three full tower computers, a Mac Pro, a Linux machine, and a Windows machine. Yes. Um, this is the Mac Pro, which is about to be added in, and in order to get it up to snuff, we're going to be adding a couple hard drives and a couple cards. And this is a really simple, basic video, but we want to be able to show everybody inside the juicy goodness of all the computers, so that you can just see what I did. Um, what you do, totally up to you. If you want water cooling, if you want air cooling, I don't care. I just want you to build cool stuff. That's my whole motivation. So, here you go. We're going to open this up. No tools. Just boop, and we're there. We'll set that aside. Pause. Ami, go lay down. You are stuck. She hates the whole world. It's your fault. Good? Yes. Alright, so this is... I, I like working on Macs, for, especially for hardware stuff, because this is as easy as you can possibly get it. Um, we've got a single terabyte hard drive in there now. We're going to add two more. So to do that, you pop out the drive slips. We're going to need two. And we're going to add another one terabyte there and then a four terabyte there. Um, we have to find a hard drive or a screwdriver that fits these well. We're going to go with the number one Phillips. Just push them through first. Huh? No, I just wanted to... You don't have to take that. No. Screws and thread is just rubber grip. Right? Yeah, I know, but it's going to thread into there. I just want to find a screwdriver to fit it. We don't really have anything that fits it the way I want. Um, these are going to want to sit in there like that. Okay. Just line it up, screw it on. This is about as simple as you can get. I could be wrong, but the general feel I get. All these screwdrivers suck. The general feel I get in whenever I do hardware on Mac is that Macs are designed for people that don't really want to work on computers. I would say they're designed for people who want to get back to working with the computers, not working on the computers. Yeah. This one, the screwdriver that, that we all thought we would have no use for today, turns out to be the one that fits these the best. Of course, that's the computer shop one. Now, the, there's a difference between the Mac and the Windows formatting on hard drives. Yes. If I put a Windows hard drive in here, how do I make it work on that? Windows hard drive by default will be read just fine on Mac. Of course, when I pushed it through, I pushed the ground through. See, so, I, had, I was doing it. I had a whole thing going on. You see all my stuff. So as I was saying, Windows hardware will read just fine on the Mac. Okay. The uh, real issue is going to be if it's NTFS, it's the Mac is only going to be able to read and not write. If it's EXFAT, you'll be able to read and write. Okay. And that was the lesson I learned the hard way. <laughs> you, you've had issues with this in the past, have you? I have done work for members who had Macs and didn't realize there was a difference at the time. Oh, okay. I'm taking out the existing video card, which is a big lump in ATI radium. Oh, 
that's how it's done. Okay, because I was trying to figure out how to unhook it from the bar. I was like, well, I got to unhook it from the back of the computer. You press the button on this thing right here, and it slides to the front of the computer, and the little bar goes with it. And then you just reach under the card and pop it right out. And you have to do a little dance. But this is, what model is this? Should be a 5710. No, 5770. Oops, 5770. Okay, what are those? 5870. Okay, so those are better. Um, excellent. Do you have the other drive mounted? Yes, I do. You might want to cut it down to wherever you'd like. Perform mine really tight, or other people right? don't like it really tight. Um, when you're doing this on this particular computer, a Mac or a Mac Pro, um, the drive plugs directly into the motherboard. There's a, a socket on the back, so there's no cables or anything like that involved. You just put it in the sled, slide it right in. And we've got room for another drive. There's a bag kit there, bags kit. Okay. And then there's another piece of plastic. Now, are we going to use the I don't know if it's Crossfire or SLI or whatever the hell on top of these. I don't think we're going to do this at the moment because we don't have cable, but we can look into that some more. Okay. Now we're doing this for video rendering it is the main use for these cards, so I didn't know if there was any advantage to running them in Crossfire or anything like that. I don't know which one it is on the ATF. I don't either. Alright, I have two cables here. Now, Rocco? Yeah. I only have two plugs so down under the car. One video card. Unless we can find a splitter. Can you split these? Will that will it take that and be happy about it? You're gonna be looking up some manuals. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put one on each card and see what we get. See yeah. if it hurts. Um, but dig up a splitter that will split these, and we'll fix that properly in the future. I just learned a valuable lesson. A little research helps along the way. No, um, plug the wire in before you put the card in because the sockets for the two cards are under the card. So, cables first. Why would they give you, there's dual 16 lanes. Why would they not give you enough plugs if they know going in, you're, I mean, this because isn't back in the day, they only ever needed one maybe? This wasn't back in the day. This is that older computer. This computer was made like six months ago. It's like the absolute last of the Mac Pros made before they went to the, the trash can. Alright, so that one's in there. I'm just going to plug one cable in each card, and then you can snag me a pair of splitters. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. Your bar put in the way again? No, it was rocking, and then I realized, well, it's only plugging in back on this end. Of course, it'll rock if I lean on it. Uh, we got to take these out. Hold that. You know, with the overhead camera and everything, like we got one here, given your Italian, we could totally do a cooking with Rocco. We, we could. could get you and Steven together and do an Italian cuisine show. This I mean, needs to happen. I think it'd kill it all for you. See, you, you guys need to comment in and tell us if you want an Italian cooking show with Steven and Rocco. Alright, so I've got one there. I'm just going to put this one in the same spot on the other card. Now, that leaves... These wide open. There's there's no juice there at all. And then I'm gonna slide this over and then lock it. And and they still slide around. Oh yeah, okay. Shut up. <laughs> no words needed. Now, anymore. hang on a minute. Look down here. The cards don't 
they're not as far forward as they seem to should be. And these are this is a Mac, so if it doesn't fit, I'm doing something wrong. And that one seems fine. We'll just push forward. Oh, you just got to lean down a little bit. Looks okay, like and then you put this in and it holds it down. I'll hold you which way. Which way does this go? This way or this way? That way is where you took that. Okay. Okay. Oh, it goes under the little thing. Okay. This would be easier if I reached in over the screen. Be careful not to cross there. Be careful. Yeah, it's catching. Get the other one started. Once you get them in, it's really easy to just on that one. Alright, so we have an extra video card that can go off to one of the other Macs here up here. Now this is kind of cool. I just we had to change anything here. I just wanted to show people the design on this. It's kind of neat. If you just press on these, pop, and lift, that's your RAM and CPUs right there. Just notice the fans actually have it into the heatsink. Yeah, they're right inside there. I have no idea what you would have to do to swap the CPU on this, but we've got room for another stick of RAM. There's 12 gigs in here now. Three, two, two gigs, PC3. I may have two more downstairs. 10, 600 eight. You got a couple, let me know what's awesome. So we've done hard drives, we've done cards. There's still a 4x slot open that says that's for RAID. Um, I'm not going to worry about RAID on this. I think we're fine just the way it is. We could add another hard drive, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, and we're cool. So we've got one terabyte for OS drive, four terabytes, and one terabyte for this will be raw footage and output video. So cool. And that's it. We're done. We've done the upgrades. No messy screws to put back in? Yeah, it just ready for delivery. What bothers me is we have these. And I just have nowhere to plug them on the motherboard. Well, so we gotta read the manual and time to uh, look at right. things. Comment and tell me what your opinion is. Should we Stress not having the extra power cables. Should we find splitters? If we should, where do we find splitters? How big a deal is it? Teach me. I, it's not something that I'm that much up on. So No, Max are running strange of all right now. <laughs> all right, so that's it. Part one of the CCC series, building our tiny god supercomputer. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Rocco Moana. As always, we'll see you next time. Done! One take. Boom! All right, find out on this, because if we need it, we'll do it. Hey, they see. came with a manual. Yes, I usually read these things first. Not that shit. I think we need them, but I'm not 100%. This is where we find out we can only put one card in, right? I'll cry. We need two. Because that's four screens, maybe six. If I can get six screens out of this, it would be really nice. Doogie! What's up? What's up? I've got a starting problem with the van, although it started fine just now. Okay. It's a little slow to turn over though. We either have like a dirty electrical connection problem a starter solenoid problem or a parasitic draw on the battery. Figure it out. Yes. All right. It's, it's fine. Pepper's it's, here. It's, Pepper's it's, here. It's, it's for a week. Yeah, all right. Um, all this to viewer mail. We'll do viewer mail real quick. I'm totally giving away the surprise for viewer mail. Ah, it's still a surprise. We don't know what's in the boxes. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> it's your birthday present. Do something that. My birthday isn't for six months. 
Besides, anything for my birthday present comes off my Amazon list, not the group one. It's May 31st, in case you're wondering, just so you know, my birthday, May 31st. What? Commercial door closers? Yeah? Are on Amazon for 50 bucks a piece. So we're Big, put them on the way. like that? No, no, the automatic door closers. Oh, those? Like those, oh, exactly those. Do right they there. suck or are they decent ones? That one right there is pretty decent. That's exactly what's on the wish list. Okay. Well, I haven't put it on the wish list yet. Put it on the wish list. We need a ton of them. Right. And I need Harvey to come here and do that thing he does so that we can not have holes in the walls and so we can have electronic locks. We just have to get stuff. different That'd strike plates. Cool. Hit C. Oh. Probably yeah, but strike you, plates fixes that problem. You got to talk to Harvey. We got to get measurements. It's a whole thing. I already got the right plate. You just need a size four electro plate. And that's All right. The thing. Hey, Liz. Rocco, tell him to change over for mail. Can you do camera girl for mail, please? I'll go change over. Yes. All right. Can you just go to my desk. Oh, I'm going to break the right? set. Huh? All right. Here's my favorite line. Daniel, 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 Daniel. Daniel's here. Yes. Um, can I put him on pressure washing today, please? Yes. Okay. Will you yell his name really loud, please? Daniel. Nah. Yes. He's here. See, that works. Um. <laughs> Can you can you please go help Steve strike the set? Um, do you know where old radio is? I don't think we've called it old radio. Do you know where the windows overlooking MDH are? You know where the boardroom is? Yes. Go up to the boardroom. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, let's do this. You want to do the big one first or the little ones? Puppy's going to get um, a cookie. Let's start with the little ones, go to the big ones. You want that cookie? They're doing their thing. My monitor doesn't work half the time. Besides, the blocking monitor only works if that's the camera that you're on. <laughs> and usually I've got my blocking monitor there, but I'm on that camera with just the And I don't understand why they can't. <laughs> There's only three buttons for this studio. If, if they're not named correctly, you just try the other two buttons. Is there. that one hooked up? And yeah. it's just named incorrectly? I thought so, yeah. Figure that out and have, tell somebody who can fix it and fix the name. Okay. Camera kind of dark. No, I'm tanning. Mark! Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Book. Oh, fuck. I <clears throat> have it. Just got out of production video. All right, guys, it's time for viewer mail now at 12.48 hours, and let's see what we got. Starting off with a little one. It's probably a KC thing. It's from Excess Tools, and it shipped UPS Red. So that's a big deal. So it's, probably it's, cool. it's for serious. It is rings. I think those are drive rings. No, it's an externally threaded yeah. collet nut. Yeah, that's true. And they, they look like the 32 stuff. So that's, make sure that's KC. That's all KC. Another bag. This one's soft. It's supple. Someone started shipping flags again? It might be a flag. It might be a shirt. It's a skirt. It's something Moose ordered off her Amazon. I'm just going to set that aside. And yeah. Skirt? Oh, it's me. I opened it up and it says skirt. And I'm like, that's nah, a Moose thing. You are a pretty man. I, I, I could rock a skirt. For, for the right fundraiser, I would totally wear a skirt to the lab. But the weather would have to be warm. Whatever. Real man like McPhee wears This is from Home Controls cover. Incorporated. It's through the Amazon thing. Oh! It's a doorbell for Rocco! So he can hear when the dude's here. So here, that's all you. Because the computer lab... Because the computer lab's in the basement. And Rocco does the early morning shift here at the lab. This just says, member donations. 
it's labeled RMD. It means it's explosive or flammable. Fucking asshole. Ha 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 Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's liquid gold right there. You ass. Oh my god. It just keeps going. Is there a conversation I missed? Uh, yes, that's hilarious. I told you, I told you, don't do that because this is what happens. No, that's right? exactly what we needed though because we're gonna go through that shit in like two weeks. All right, but it has to go into Flamble's cabin. That's fine. All right. Actually, I, would, I don't think that's flammable, is it? I would sincerely- Yeah, it's brick! It so says- No, it says non-flammable in red. Just, you just you lost yell at it, I shoot my teeth! You just lost that argument. I just, yeah, if, at, at any point in argument, if you yell at a guy and your dentures shoot out of your head, you've lost the argument. It's just, <laughs> that's not a matter. <laughs> I've actually done it hard enough to shoot them out oh, of my face. I've, I've never seen you do that. Have you ever done it. hit the other person in the face? No, before? no, he wasn't even in the no. room. But I just, ah, oh, and, yeah. Oh, uh, we're gonna want to put those back in the box for the big one. Oh, God. They're not fragile, you could just See, what you don't know is those boxes are full of it, too. I want to thank Brad oh, Carter for donating brake parts cleaner and having an awesome sense of humor. Thank you, Brad. And you said they couldn't ship it. <laughs> well, it's not It's R&D. Right. It's super flammable! No, it's right on it. It's, it's brake cleaner. What does it say on the front? Non-flammable. Non-flammable. No I thought brake cleaner was like super, super duper. Yeah, the good stuff is. The good, oh, the good stuff. <laughs> this is the good enough stuff? This is alright? Oh, that'll work great. It's good? Okay. Alright, let's come out and do the big boxes. I'm kind of curious. Up on the table? Or this might be. Well, you can put them on the table if you want. If they're light. Yeah, they're this good. is Batman's skirt. <laughs> it's a fursuit from Mark. It's a big pink bunny rabbit. I'd wear it. Is Mark a furry? Maybe. What, were we right? You just outed your own friend. Oh, God, no. Everybody knows Mark's a furry. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes. This is someone who understands us. Hell yeah. It's also from Brad Carter. Oh, this gets cool fast. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> She got out of the way. <laughs> this is another one from Brad Carter. Thank you, sir. This one's a little heavy. This one's this one's full of used toilet paper. I sent explain. to us from Russia. That explains the suddenness. Hang on, I gotta hang on the wall. Soviet Russia toilet paper chafes you. Is this the don't That's use the water right. on your face part of Russia? No, I saw a picture of the Sochi stuff where they have a toilet in a hotel room. And it's doubled up. No, no, the toilet's next to a waste paper basket and there's oh, a yeah. sign on it that says don't put used toilet paper down the toilet, put it in a waste paper basket. Yeah, that's oh. Oh. And that's <laughs> box! Lay flat! Do not stand on end! It's it's Comfort King, Royal Blue. Two foot by three foot. What what is it? It's your mom's new sectional dildo. It's... Yoga mat? Is it a yoga mat? It's a floor, yeah. it's the uh, floor mat that's uh, on the wish list. We have floor mats on the wish list? For in front of the machinery. Non-stress mats, mats, I believe. Oh, they're like, don't mess your backup mats? That's just a warranty. Yeah, it's an ergonomic anti-fatigue mat. Cool. Here. And there are a bunch of them in here. Fat man, just start taking them. Lay flat. Don't stand on it. Hi, Dan. Did you find him? Nope. This is from Rune Madsen. Yeah, because it could crease it. Omni. Thank you, Rune. You gotta come get your cookie. Yeah. 
They're all 24 by 36. It's an anti-fatigue mat for people who have to stand around a lot. Cool. An interesting and entertaining viewer mail today. Yeah, well. Thank you, Mr. Matt. All right. Um, so you're getting set up for pressure washing. You're working on the van. You're working on the boot camp thing so that we can do the blogs without a gap while we tear down the CCC. Did the other CCC parts come in yet? Um, no, I got it. That's my next phone call, actually. Gotcha. So, all right, we'll be back. You guys have fun. Poopy! I didn't forget you, really. Do you need a cookie? A cookie of, you need a cookie and a half. Because I forgot. I forgot. Here, you get a half cookie? And then a whole cookie. Can I get gummy bears? I need gummy bears. Ooh, three, four red gummy bears in one package! <laughs> oh, did you see the thing on my Facebook? Somebody sent me a Facebook picture. Haribo makes a, there's a, a Haribo package with like a Haribo teddy bear and a helicopter. This exists. It's kind of a shitty helicopter, but it's a gummy bear helicopter. So I would fly it around with gummy bears hanging from it to deliver gummy bears to people. Omni, um, you're making a mess. Well, now you're making a really clean spot on the floor. Okay. You want another cookie? You get a whole cookie, because Daddy loves you. Yay! Okay. And now we're done with viewer mail. Someday, we'll get there, I believe. God. Actually, with any luck, we might be able to get the uh, rest of the east wall done tonight. That would be cool. That would be a hell of a step. There's the Omni Dog! Omni Dog! Hi, puppy. Oh! How's the dog? How's the dog? Oh! What you up to, Batman? Alright. What are you doing? What's up, Doogie? Any progress? I tested for parasitic draw and eliminated that from the possible problems. Oh, that's progress. Uh, we might need to get a battery tender for this. Okay. Since it's not. We have a couple in stock. Well, for, for your cars. We don't oh, you mean the little float charger thing? Yes. Okay. I. Okay. They're like thirty-five dollars at the auto parts store. Done. Then we can do that. I, being that this isn't driven on a daily basis anymore. All right. Can we do it upright with an external plug hooked up outside, kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, talk to the IRC. That's an easy thing. They can solve that. Okay. Figure out what you want. Figure out what one you want. Do a little fundraiser with the IRC. I trust you. So I'm gonna get a good one. Don't get a shitty one. Like if we're getting auto parts store, if it's like 35 for a basic one, if we can get a really good one for like 50, do it. Because if this is the work van, it has to work. It has to be reliable. Get a good one. Okay. Cool. cool. So you're using your, your brake parts cleaning. Right? Yeah. You working on the brakes? Nope. Why you got brake parts cleaning? There's no brake parts. parts. There's no brake parts involved in this. <laughs> it smells like dry cleaning fluid. Is it? Yeah. See, I don't, it smells like a dry cleaner. I don't understand the dry cleaning process, so I wouldn't know. Send Doogie all of the links about how dry cleaning works. <laughs> He's deeply curious. Yeah, I asked about it the other day. Yeah. Too. Now I'm cleaning up the, the battery terminals. There's some residual corrosion. Um, one problem might be if the cables are corroded internally, we're not getting enough current delivery to the starter. Okay. But I figure if it gets to the point where we're actually going to have to look at replacing the starter, we can just do the cables first potentially or do them together because it's only like a couple bucks for the battery cables. All right. Sort it out. We'll check in on you as we go. Okay. You're tidying? Yeah, I also got to vacuum out the back still because I'm picking up nice shiny stuff. I don't want to yeah. get scratched. Okay. So cool. Scratch, so. <laughs> Needs to be vacuumed. <laughs> 